I know what to do. I think you have a lot to do. I think what I'd like to do is give the bed and breakfast to them because they deserve it. They have real love. They deserve this place. This place was built on Alice's love and my love. We built this with our own hands and our hearts. And I think they deserve it. I'm going to give it to them. I just thank you so much for being there. Thank you for your encouragement. So, come by the bed and breakfast, won't you? I will. You know what, no, I'm going to come and visit you someday, and I'm going to eat some of that cheesecake with you or something, all right? <laughs> Norm. What do I do? How do I start? Why don't you stay here with your friends? I'm going to go get some help, okay? We're going to make this B&B really ready to give to the new people. Okay. 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 We I love music. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you, Norma. I love music. We love you, Norma. Um. Uh, I love seeing you smile, Norma. Thank you. I think I'm I think I'm gonna be okay. I think I think I think I'm gonna be okay. I saw you.
This is her. She lived with me forever. You heard her, right? You heard her? She said she forgives me. You heard that, right? You heard that? Can I tell you a story? No, I love you. I'm so happy. Is it okay if I tell you a story? Yes, please. So, when I was 19, a long time ago, I, you know, I, I a little bit of a hippie, you could say. I, uh, I left home to, you know, kind of see the world and, and experience new things. And, you know, I grew up on a farm and hadn't really seen much of the world. And I didn't believe in going to war, so I just, I just left. Knapsack in hand, and I just went on a journey. And I went all the way to San Francisco. And I met a bunch of people who were like me. But I met Alice. And it's funny because I was <laughs> a skinny twig of a boy. <laughs> and I was homeless and and I had, I didn't have anything, you know? And Alice, she 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 was just so amazing, and, and we took to each other right away. And I, I knew I loved her the very, the very second, the very second I saw her. When she looked at me with those beautiful blue eyes, <laughs> I was struck. I was dumbstruck. And I knew, oh God, kill me now if I don't get to be with this woman forever. And she saved me. I think if it wasn't for her, I probably would have died a long time ago. You know, because I, I really didn't believe in much. I didn't really know what love was. My parents, my parents, they fought all the time. And they... They hurt themselves and they hurt each other. But Alice was never like that. Alice never got angry. And she helped me see the beautiful things that life has to offer. She helped me to see love in its most purest of forms. And that that love in its most purest of forms is something you can't describe. It's 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 just present. And it moves you. And it keeps you from from thinking about just yourself, you know? I I can't. I can't. I can't even begin to explain it. But I can tell you this. I hope that each and every one of you get to experience, even just for a minute, the love that Alice and I have for each other. Because if you do, you will know the meaning of true love. Thank you so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking this journey with me and for helping me realize what lives here. It's you guys that made this possible. You guys brought brought her back to me. You, you did it. And I will be in debt to you for the rest of my life for your kindness and for you being there for me. <laughs> I hope I get to meet you guys someday. someday. So, 
Happy Valentine's Day. 